You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! It's final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso. This carbine, the bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. I didn't read the license plate. I don't think I could have. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Mouthpiece tore uh, strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my hand. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sack. I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that desk. He's good looking for a policeman. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. What, what did I say? I said nothing. They weren't even his prints, and he still confessed. Am I walking in the right direction? I don't think I am. I think I got myself lost. Uh-oh. Is he in some kind of trouble? Nope. That's the interrogation. Oh, there we go. sitting there waiting for me all right I see how it is looks like the DA is gonna press charges and Rodriguez might do time I'll speak to the DA she suffered enough mm, I don't know Cole she's an easy make and the DA likes convictions I'll convince him to let it go how do you do that? I'll give him something better. I mean, what do we have?
Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, the car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Yep, sounds like a deal. Phelps? You should... I ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. can notify hmm. next of kin. Someone's a little sad, I understand. My money. Take. Fine. Lester Patterson. Uh, 182 North Hope Street, Los Angeles, California. January 5th, 1947. Dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application. 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from 370 per week to 590 per week. This raise became effective on January 1st, 1947. Where our standard veteran care policy titled you have a lot of life insurance. Titled Damn. I was not expecting that. I'm sorry, wait, what? what is this? Incapacity. If your lump sum payout of $10,000 in the event of your untimely death or permanent incapacitation. This new plan secures your benef beneficiaries a sum of $16,000. That sounds good on the surface, but I don't want to be paying my taxes towards that. Thank God you're dead. Um, I mean, oh no, I'm so sad. So, like, what is with all this blood? I don't understand. Like, was that from the wheels? I'm assuming that was from the wheels. But he wasn't run over like that. We saw him get run over. Um... He looks a lot like Shane from The Walking Dead. I just noticed that. All right. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Good to know I don't ever want to be struck by a cause of... Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Damn. This is... I, you couldn't really see it in the... beginning scene. It didn't seem that far. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. I feel bad for whoever owns that car. I mean, he did just kill a man. And skip marks. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Well, he didn't manage to brake. He still had momentum carrying him forward. You know what I bet? I bet you this was an accident, probably, due to the skid marks. Why would he keep driving forward, you know what I'm saying? He's all yours. Ah, uh, there's probably... Wait a minute, there's probably still more here. Where did he buy the hat? I'm waiting to, for him to say something uh, unstantial or con not consistent or something like that. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's go talk to the victim. Wait a minute, trash can, alley. No. 
Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Eyewitness report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Hmm. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. That was nothing. But tell argument me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. The people arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Damn, straight away. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. I'm just the best really at my job, so? dude. I hope you find that driver and put him away. No problem, though. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna. of... Mrs. Patterson home. Got it. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Yeah. Um, it seems like a good Not one of your time. favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Yeah. All right. A witness like overheard I can an with. argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? I think... I don't think I have anything about the argument. Um, oh. He is right. It was all dirty laundry. Real embarrassing stuff. So I guess I think I can keep going the good cop route. What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Ah, uh, never mind. Hidden what can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here and all I heard was the impact. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Hmm. Damn, how far away is this payphone? In all my years, I've never seen anything like this. Damn. Well, now you have. It is New York. Or LA. I'm not surprised. Phelps, 1247. I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. 
registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Shelton Residence. Like All right, we got a, a good amount one. of places. Oh yeah, we got to put a good amount of places to investigate. This might just well, go by what's quickly. Going on over there? You know, it would have been funny if I tripped. Like, they just threw that in there as a thing that you can do. Just trip. Alrighty, let's figure out where we're gonna go. Oh, have we, are we not finished at Raze? I mean, we got most of everything we wanted. The place ain't ran dry yet. Um. What? I can get different desk jobs? That's crazy cool. We've got to track down that Lincoln Phelps. We find the car. All right. And then we nail the driver. First things first, though. I want to head down to the Patterson residence. Just real quick, see what else I can get down. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got hurt. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? Well, it's a 211 in progress, 933 South Broadway. Any center you're not able to handle, identify it. <laughs> Why is there going to be so much traffic? Ah, I went in the wrong direction, damn it. about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see your company eyes. widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. 
good friends. You expect me to believe that? Great friends, even. Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me, he was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? Any messages? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Pattison autopsy. Thanks, ma'am. Back to seriousness. All right. We're at a morgue. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. But the trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray one head. more time and trial for evidence. Let's hit that alleyway. How long can they keep this type of stuff covered up for? Oh, yippee, my car's back to normal. I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. Anyone in the vicinity, see the man in 
211 just occurred, 3rd and Hill Street. Stand by for further. Unit to handle code 3 identified. Let's get that, I guess. Uh-oh. What took you so long? They're getting away! What happened here, sir? They... they had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. Shall we find some criminals? You look like a rat with a gold tooth wearing a watch like this. LAPD! Cops! Time to duck! Car 11K. Shots fired. The suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. It's code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. 11K, Roger on the ambulance. All units, the shooting at 3rd and Hill Street is code 4. Code 4. Well, at least we had the common courtesy to respond to the crime. I haven't checked the trash can yet. Alright, I can't check the trash can. What? <laughs> what are those names? Crawl a kill fast. Uh-oh. Found our knife. I'm sure Carruthers will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Can we see the name on the knife? See where he bought it from? Leroy? Is that the man... There ain't nothing else here. All right. Leroy Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Oh shit, he did do it. Okay. Go. I'll bring the car. Why am I walking? What? It's too late, Sabo. Oh, shit. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. He's making for the roof, Cole. The fire escape, quick. No, now I'm doing it again. I'm doing it now. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. Well, so I give you a hit and run, 
You're bringing back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Slip of the tongue. Phelps, Kowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on! Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Oh, I'm trying to turn on my fan here so that you guys don't have to deal with a bunch of laggy audio. I swear the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe the word. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down to one way. She wants a five-star goddamn way. the car now why did you run from us i saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me what would you do what's your name cliff harrison you're under arrest for what what are you talking about nice try i'm talking about the car being stolen you're out of your mind i bought the car and i've got the paperwork to prove it Like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. I'm sorry, is your signature just a straight line? You, you purchased think anything this sense? car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? From the same place. This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. You better give us something, Cliff. Or we're going to make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because. Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. All right. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. All right. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. you got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, detective. You know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Definitely. He was pretty easy to work with right there. I think I'm getting better at this. Or what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how... Actually, never mind. That joke wouldn't have landed. I was about to make a joke about politicians not smoking weed, but they totally do, dude. The paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean-cut kid. Uh-huh. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. 
You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better now. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. Not another I don't know step. If I can play that song. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. I'd love a sedan right now, but no. Well, Detective you're Phelps, kind of... LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Alrighty. That's a joke, too, son. Mm -hmm. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. You know, I'd let it slide past, probably. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Let's check out Bad Boy right here. Oh. They match. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. All right. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell Details. us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. You need to give us something, Coombs, if you don't want to be implicated in this. Yap, yap, yap. Son, your problem is that your gums keep flapping, but you do no listening. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Well, damn. I mean, we knew it. that wasn't gonna. Oh, fuck. Okay. Excuse my language, people. Um, good cop, I guess. So this dizzy oh, broad shit. walks in here off the street and sells you a two-year-old car for half the price and you don't ask any questions. I'd say that about sums it up nicely. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. I have a hard time these believing that. These pink slips are leading us to something big, Coombs. It's time to stop being cute. I'm going to assume you're having a bad day, son. I sell cars, not paper. Yeah, but you used the paper this to sell a damn car. Above board. Yes, of course it was. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. We get awful attentive to people who obstruct LAPD investigations. Ah, I'm a dumbass, man. Did you double check all I'm the not paperwork? That Who's it made out yeah. to? Yeah. The Gene Archer. 
Let's use that payphone. I don't know. Usually every time we use the payphone, it helps out. I might just get me some water. In real life. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee Printing Company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks. Alrighty. How should I go about doing this? Ah, I should have just played good cop with him. There's nothing to accuse him on either. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Um, he totally... Can I not ask any questions? Sit down, I guess. All right. I just kind of want to have a look around real quick. Well, so I you're telling me there's no way you need. Sure, alright. So you're telling me there's no possible I don't believe you. I'm gonna look around. Probably wouldn't mind. Probably nothing. Don't think this is anything. Why can't I? Alrighty then, it's nothing. But every time I walk in this specific direction... Any ideas? We could always try the address Archer gave. <laughs> Maybe she's dumb enough to be sitting at home waiting for us. Not sure this means much. Yeah, I know it doesn't mean much, but you guys keep... You guys keep on telling me it's something interesting. There's something interesting over here. No, I know there's something, something's got to be here. I'm going outside real quick. That's a cop. Never mind. I was like, what are you doing here? Who are you? Can't 
check that. I know there's more here. There's more to it. This can't it can't be this easy. Unless it is. We're not done here. I'm coming back for you. Anyways, I want to get in the car before the radio turns off. Let's head to the police station. That was a very sad song. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. What am I doing here? He's prepped and ready at two. Yeah. Interviewing room one, and this is that's the lineup. Never mind. All right, is this number two? Nope. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Holding cells, lineup gallery. I am just trying to find a uh, interviewing room too. Please. I'm guessing since it's not there, it should be over here Someone somewhere. Someone take him home. What a skunk! Walking out on his wife like that. What the hell is she talking about? Nope, not out there. The ah, fine. Marker or green? Be Two peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. A broad has socks.
This place is a literal maze. Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Yep, 1947. There we go. Interviewing room two. Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Hmm. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Damn right it is. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Jean Archer. Shit. Where were you taking the Fine. car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Do we have anything? Oh. Stolen vehicle or seat. You were taking the car to Coombs' car yard. He gives you cash and the cars get new papers. Who the fuck is Coombs? What are you talking about? There's so many different damn ownership papers. Give me a lawyer. I'm tired of talking to you. You had a chance to cooperate, Velasco. See you in ten years when you get out. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look. Can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke yeah. to was Lightfall. Gordon Lightfall. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Finally, thank you. Ah. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Where's the fuck's my car? We don't want to lose her. Yeah, we might get there quicker if you use the siren. Yeah, I know how a siren works. LAPD. So we'll take it from here. See God damn it. Again? Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving me a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Hmm. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? 
Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? Because you stole a car. You decided to make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard time. You know what, it's an end of the day. Alrighty, we have some more places to check out. We're talking back to this guy. No, you pennies is hiding from me. I will find you all in you. Yes, sir. Damn! Why did you places have so much preparation age? Ooh-wee! Benny's give me speed! Down from there, you lunatic! You really need to lay off the pills. All right, I really want to dance. Why you? You know, at least we did that. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? Can't quick save. All right, I was gonna do that. Sure. 
Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. Asked the wrong question. Nothing, nothing. I can't get nothing out of him. What is that noise? Every time it's like I walk near the guy. Just nothing, dude. Ah. What I would give to see you behind bars. Not a lot because you're a fictional character, but I'm still angry. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. I need to focus up. Fence did more damage to my car. I really hope this stream hasn't been silenced because uh, they heard the song.
We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well, but this really is irregular. Over here. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Oh, I can slip it. Does Franklin Miller repeat? What? You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. All righty. Pink slips. Knowledge Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Uh, I think I can use intuition here. Yeah. That we have it. suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. All right, that's pretty good. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. They should do bad cop. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they Ta -na. may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Sorry that took so long, guys. I'll just edit it all together in the video. It'll sound a lot better. Fireproof warehouse. Mm -mm -mm. Love asbestos. We might get. We might be getting back to it, baby.
That's what I'm talking about. Wait, there's more I can do here? I want to head back down to... Coombs Automotive Co. That, <laughs> that was pretty ugly. You Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. All right. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Think so, huh? Look at that. Throw out the guns. We need another gun over here. How long do you think you can hold out? He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Oh, wait, what do we got here? slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Hmm. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. All right. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. So none of these cars are stolen? You just... Shoot at intruders as a general policy? Hell, what would you do? You gotta be careful. There's a lot of thieves around. Oh, brother, now I've heard everything. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, copper. I just watched you tear my place up.
I'm telling you, we gotta go back there and we gotta go talk to the guy. There's gotta be something we can do. So what's going on over there? What happened over here? Metal is solving oh. all the cases. No, you're doing it. You're driving, dog. All right, I can't stop it. Damn it. You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm down, sir. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Somebody stop it. Give it up, LAPD. That away. What the hell? Your hands in the air. I think I get more experience if I catch. Don't make alive. me chase you. That's, that's what I'm going to try to do, anyways. You don't understand. Someone has to stop the Venusians. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Hardly near. We found harassment. a box of pink slips and a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Well, we know you were there. Save because... it, Lightbulb. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Oh, I'm don't. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need. You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Hell yeah. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. That was fun. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.